guys, okay. Can you see me? Hey guys. So the more I get into this art thing, the more I have a better understanding of like the financials behind it. Because what I'm finding is that the value of my artwork may not actually offset the value or the cost that it took for the materials to make that piece. Which is honestly fine. Expensive materials don't make art better. So until your skill gets better and you can sell for more, you're kind of operating at a loss in that sense. So when you make a new piece that you do potentially want to sell, you end up putting a lot of thought into what you're going to buy and making sure that it's like the perfect piece. And then when you get the piece, you have a lot of pressure to perform and then you may lose some of your artistic edge because you get stiff and like worried and like you aren't making all the decisions that you normally would make if it was just like practice. So my friend recently moved and he wanted some artwork from me. So we were trying to figure out cool ideas. And right before that, we were talking about how every time I walk by like a billboard or advertisement, I just want to like draw or paint on it. But I don't, cause I'm like a good upstanding citizen. But then the idea dawned on us of what if we just got like $40 Ikea canvas prints and then painted over them so that we just made them a little bit more me. But yeah, they just went ahead and ordered it directly online, shipped it to me, and then I can do whatever I want with it. And in this case, they agreed to pay for materials and shipping back to them. It's a four piece puzzle that I can't put together. All right. So right now I'm thinking about taking this panel and painting over it so that it matches over onto the rest of the three. But yeah, if this works out, it'd be really cool to open this up to like my subscribers, which by the way, might be a good time to point out that only 1% of you are subscribed. I think like 99% of you are not subscribed. Uh, honestly, that's not like that offensive. Okay, so we spent some time on Photoshop mocking up some stuff. And good news is these are wrapped in cellophane, so I can just kind of like practice to see like what exactly my ideas translate to. Yeah, and so during this piece, I pretty much streamed a lot of it on Twitch. Um, you can find my Twitch username is twitch.tv slash the underscore drag. Find me there. Um, I went through the, like the whole process of how I put this together, but pretty much right here, I'm just showing like I'm masking it off. I'm painting some of the elements on there. There's some like octopus legs. Spoiler alert, there's a dinosaur in the background. Pretty much like I just had like a cool little test stream and did everything on it. Didn't really record the stream, but it's there. So yeah, feel free to check out my Twitch, guys. Link in the description below. And also right here, I'm just burnishing the final piece, which I'm glad I did, because it ended up in the bathroom. Um, God, mosquitoes. Okay, so we finished up the painting. Let's take some photos, and then we'll get this shipped out. We're almost done. Taking these photos was actually a little bit challenging because in general you take photos before the varnish goes on, but in this case I already had varnish on, so I tried to match the varnish, but then the sun like was reflecting off of it and making all these crazy reflections on the photos. Whew. It's kind of funny how sweaty I just got doing that. But assuming these photos are decent enough, we can pack it up, ship it out, and then work on the next part for this project. Because in theory, I don't need the physical panels on hand for the next part. So if you are interested in sending me stuff to paint, DM me on IG or Twitter. And all I ask is that you at least cover shipping for it. And if you want, you can cover materials too. But please don't send me anything alive or like gross, like poop. Anyways, let's get to the next part of the project. All right, it's all packed up. The label is printed. Let's go ship this out. Yeah, so I went ahead and shipped it. Everything is out there. He actually got it. I'm gonna play the clip of him opening it at the very end. The actual next step that I did not show or did not record really was I put an AR overlay on it from Artivive. I've used them in the past for different projects. And after he hung it up, he sent me a recording of like what it looked like. It's honestly pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. I only spent like an hour putting the overlays on top but I probably will go back in and spend more time doing it. Pretty much you take your photo, you upload it to their system, and then you can upload like overlays on it. So you can put like videos and like images on top, but it's also at my friend's place. So like I can change it. And then if he like randomly looks at it one day, it could be different the next, which is kind of fun. Overall, this commission was pretty cool. Consider subscribing, liking, commenting. Either way, I hope you have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. I don't know which one you're looking at, actually. That one is the main one. One of them's like really not, doesn't have much on it. So one of them has your signature and one of them is a blank. Yeah, yeah. That's cool, hello. Activate the flashlight. Oh, it's 
walking on. Oh shit, that's so cool. Wait. Oh wait, uh, hold on. Oh. Oh wow, the, wait, hold on, but what are these other things on the bottom? It goes, when you hang it up, like it should hit the edge of the third panel, or like the one next to it. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, because yeah. it's even, essentially? Yeah, but I was working on a video for all of this, so all the stuff should move, but I just like threw in the assets. So like that's kind of what it might be but the actual video might be like a little more intense, like things will move better.